Hey, get out! Welcome to Get Fat. We are back. Hello. Yeah. How, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Brilliant. Brilliant. Ooh. So me and you uh, we're officially on diets, and we uh, <laughs> we're, we're working out in that. And, we are. You know, we've got a competition against each other. In two months' time, we're going to weigh ourselves again. See who's lost the most weight. Yes. How are you doing with that? Have you? Weighed I'm yourself not doing too. I've weighed myself since. You've not. No. I have. have the, uh, today actually. Okay. Yeah. Well. I'll weigh myself tomorrow. Then. You're supposed to do it for morning. <laughs> I'm doing well to be fair. Like. You're supposed to do it for morning, aren't you? So yeah, yeah. I did mine at 11 a.m. I was after a run though, so right. some sweat oh, mounted. Are you doing a bit of running as well? Are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I'll have to try and do something to catch up with that then. <laughs> you know, I exercise in course. I've got to win. I don't I can't do running anymore. I'll have to go on row machine. I was hard, isn't it? Man, legs keep locking up. Like back in my legs, like why is that so tight? <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I that fat now? Is that ever? <laughs> Legs are struggling. Yeah, but it's the heaviest I have I've ever been. That like fifteen stone five. That's a m- big guy. That for my, <laughs> for my size, I'm only sta- five foot eight. Stature. So for people that know don't know, five foot eighty, I'm and I'm fifteen stone five. <laughs> I'm, I'm five eleven and I'm thirteen stone nine. I'm built like a boulder. <laughs> it's a wrecking ball. Steer the bulldozer. Mm-hmm. Right, people have struggled bit me up though, wouldn't they? They're like, oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> What, you, what have you got in you? He's <laughs> got leather in his shoes yeah, or what? Oh, yeah. Nice. So I've got quite a bit of stuff. Okay. Um, I think we've got around, around 40, around 50 minutes, roughly. Because <laughs> yeah, uh, right. I need to come off about 4 o'clock. Football's on it. Is it? Last day of Klopp, Jürgen Klopp. All oh, right, okay. The last Liverpool game with Jürgen Klopp, so there'll be a big like celebration and that. I'm sure there will be. And Adele's in work. In the middle of town where it all is. Oh, nice. So that's going to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sorry for it. <laughs> so that's chuck a block in there, won't it? Oh, won't it? Yeah. I can't be asked that, me. Is it a home game Don't as well? Like, yeah, home game. Ooh. <sighs> there'll be thousands, there'll be, there'll be loads of people travelling from all over the world, won't will, will, yeah. Just to celebrate. Just to witness it. Mm-hmm. Just keep seeing all these like cute videos about Jürgen Klopp and that. It's, they are good, like. They make you go, oh. He's been, he's been good, he's been a good boy. He's, he's a, been a good boy. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Klopp's about 60, isn't he? <laughs> he's a good boy, isn't he? He's a good boy. He's, been, he's, he's done well. Been brilliant. Um, he can here, so... After I stop drinking, let's open this. Uh, I'm not actually drinking one, so... Just giving you one of the cans. Okay. To take it with you. Um, I you forgot to, I to open it. For you... So this, what we're on boxing here, is when we said we got some credit off Brewdog, use that credit to buy some, what create was the, your what, own cans. What was the credit for? Because I messaged them, emailed them, because I bought some cans, some um, hazy IPA punk cans, and inside the contents were Aldi IPA, which they make as well right so I was I emailed them to ask them basically like hey that's happened type thing like are they made in the same factory or I was more curious because of the podcast side of things and they emailed like trying to explain a bit of how it could have happened and said we apologise we'll give you some store credit and stuff like that so I was like that's not what I wanted like I wasn't doing it for credit but I'll appreciate it yeah that was nice <laughs> of them wasn't it it was yeah we well, even get a little glass as well yeah. don't know what's off the screen though it's just yes. going to Nope. An error? Oh god! What's happening with screens? Well then, <laughs> what's that about? Stop recording. Oh no! What's happened? Yes. Excuse a minute. There's yours. Uh, I'll put one out myself somewhere. Is that right up there? So what? Basically, what I'm looking at here oh, is a brew dog. Glass have made a can with Get Fact on it. Yeah. And it's the postmodern classic with the, uh, the new Get logo. Fact logo on it as well. Yeah. Fantastic. I don't want to, I wouldn't want to open it. No, you're not. It's not for opening. You're not allowed to open it. Okay. <laughs> it could be uh, worth loads of that in the future. 
Um, is the Glasgow get fact on it as well? What? The Glasgow get no. fact? No. Right. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. Got them there, them there. Ooh, I want to keep the box as well, it's cool. And then you can have that one for drinking. Oh, thank you very one much. One for drinking, one for keeping. One for drinking, one for keeping. Aye. Now I'll put that there. I'll put that with me, uh, Queen beer that you got me. Yeah. Um, back in there. If it can. I don't know if you put this in. Does it fit? I made a right mess what, of this. What are you doing, Steve? I don't know, I'm trying to get <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's like a Caesar. What have I done? Is, Is there still a can in there? Yeah. Well, they sat on the can in the middle of the But I was hoping it just stay in place. <laughs> oh, that's a mess now, isn't it? I'll sort that another day. <laughs> that's another day's issue. Oh, go on, go over. Go. Um, I don't know what. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Did you watch the boxing last night? Do you know what? I haven't. Uh, I'm going to do it on sort of like a catch-up somehow. Okay, so you don't know the result. Oh, you I do. don't know the result. I've got a feeling of the result because as I was flicking through Facebook, <laughs> there was some posts coming up, so I tried not to read. So I think I know who won. But Okay, you say you won and I'll turn away and I'll not send, do no faces. Uh, not Fury. <laughs> not Fury? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Didn't I? So the other fella. Name. You're the fella. Mm. <sighs> it's been somewhere... Wonderful conspiracy lately, isn't there? We'll get on to them in a bit. Yeah. I've got a little video for one of them. One okay. of them's Justin Bieber video. And the other one is the wonderful King Charles painting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw this painting one. Yeah. Where the guy sort of flips him over. I don't get what I'm looking at. You don't? No. I'll show you that in a bit. So I did a video of what A to see it. Right. Flip it and reverse it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, where's me content? <laughs> If I was professional, I'd, I'd remember all this. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it's a lot to remember, isn't it? You should just have it up on the screen there. Why? You just keep to seeing it. I used to do that, but you used to always cheat and look at the screen at the next bit. You'd be reading <laughs> and what's coming up and laughing. Like, what are you laughing at? Well, I just can, read that next bit. so you can get ahead of yourself. Yeah, I was cheating. You're laughing at things that's not said yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, teeth filing... The Vikings did this to show their enemies and their friends that they were able to resist a lot of pain. It was only the warriors who did this. Did you know that? Does that mean you're going to start doing it? So, they had like, you know, the spikes that they make? Yeah. Well, they kind of do them now to put them fake teeth in, don't they? Yeah. Well, that's what they did, but kept them that way. Right. So, yeah, like, <laughs> sharp, little fangs all, all the way Does through. that mean you're going to start doing it? No, it looks horrible, doesn't it? You're a Viking. It looks a bit horrible. Don't fancy that. I'm, I'm, I'm not a warrior Viking, though. I'm more the, the freak picker. Domest domestic, <laughs> domestic Viking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the raper and the pillaging. <laughs> you come in after them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll finish you. <laughs> You're the finisher offer. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, what's this? I've got an article here. A website. Oh, I've got nothing linked to it. I've just got a website, so let's click on it. Oh, this is what Adele sent me. Mother throws her disabled six-year-old son into a crocodile-infested river where he is mauled to death by reptiles after further ordered her to throw the child away in India. That's messed up. That is... Uh, no... What? Uh, oh. But don't they know that the kid's going to be disabled before they're born? Not all the time. They don't? No. Some people don't get checked, do they? No. They just go with it. That's mad, that. How could you do that? He's six years old, though. Nah, that's terrible. So you've, you've grown a six-year bond? Yeah, uh, well, it depends. <sighs> How close you are to the kid? Yeah, I mean, if the child is born disabled, then you know, some people look at it on a religious thing, like God's punished us for something. Oh, do you reckon that's what it is? Well, because it's India, isn't it? Yeah, they so have a lot more religion over there. God's them. punished them for some reason, and he's grown up with a resentment to this child because, I don't know, maybe they're poor, and that's why, and yeah. whatever, and they decide is right, well... So they'll do another cruel act. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that that's for all of India. That's just no, obviously a couple of messed up people in yeah, India. Yeah, that's what I mean. And, uh, me mentally messed up. Yeah. And using that as an excuse. Yeah, that's I horrible. Don't, that. I don't believe people would actually be like that. No, it's weird, isn't it? Mm. It's in your mind to just kill a kid. Kill any kind of baby. I mean, hundreds, hundreds, thousands of years ago, it probably would have been accepted. 
surely it'd be easier to get that kid adopted or someone just sending it to a home i don't know i mean I can't. probably in the uk maybe yeah i don't know true. much about the rest of the world that's true well especially anywhere out of europe yeah. like third world countries but these days but it, all you need is a TikTok video saying my kid's disabled we're struggling we need help and then everyone starts throwing cash at you there you go do you know what I mean did yeah. he doesn't yeah. it's the, that charity is pretty easy these days as long as you've got TikTok videos yeah <laughs> so we should have done that give the kid a chance yeah it's not the kid's fault I know yeah it's probably mum and dad's fault if they're mo- brother and sister isn't it well yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, sperm whale phonetic alphabet Oh, surprisingly similar similar in structure to human language. Oh, okay. So did you do the alphabet like humans? Right. So it must be like... Just like... The humming noises, that's kind of like ours, isn't it? I'm just guessing. I don't know. So I just don't know how that works. <laughs> i just seen it the other day. I was like, oh, that's interesting. But going on, just going on to that, uh, just expanding on that a little bit, you, know, you, you can go and swim with dolphins in the likes of... Um, places in america and stuff no oh, yeah you can go and swim with dolphins but they tend they take a lot of disabled kids um those who are physically or mentally disabled yeah and it has quite a big impact on the child or the person the disabled which whatever the disability mm. and one of the theories is based on what you're going about the the tones and the notes that what what has a big Impact. So they take the disabled kid to swim with the dolphin. Yeah. So the ah. dolphins do like little chirps and stuff, don't they? Yeah, they, yeah, re- yeah. they reckon one of the theories is that it's a way of sort of pro not not reprogramming the brain, but a way of the brain sort of understanding yeah. and getting reprogrammed. And they see things like the child smiling for the first time. Oh yeah. Or the child actually well then actually making noise for the first That's time. Mad, and they reckon it's the communication that the dolphins give out. Yeah. Is it kind of like programming the brain? Yeah, have you have you seen their dolphins' hands? No, they've got like skeleton hands like ours. They look like proper hands in the flippers. All oh, right, okay. I'm sh- unless that was fake news, <laughs> I literally didn't search that in. I just seen <laughs> it as like that's interesting. That <laughs> uh, dolphins' hands. <laughs> Not <laughs> dolphin. If dolphins had thumbs, so the. The skeletal structure so is similar is. to a human. Yeah. Yeah. It's got like a little hand on it. But it's the same with bats as well, isn't it? Is it? There's one next to it, the one you've just been pointing at. Is that a dolphin there? Yeah. Which one? The bat one. Yeah, the way the bat's um, wings are structured. Oh, yeah, it's like fingers. Yeah. Like really long So there's fingers. a thumb at the top, which is a spike, and then the mm. rest are just the elongated fingers sprawled out. What, what's the point in that thumb for a bat? It's the grip. Can they grab stuff with it? Yeah, they hang on to stuff. Ah, is that what they use to hang? Yeah, they crawl on stuff. Ah. I love how you're doing the impression. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the impression. Yeah. No one can see me doing it, but I'm doing an impression. <laughs> oh, we've got it all on video footage, this. That's what's going on. <laughs> you doing it, you being a bat. <laughs> There's something else to be, um, whales as well. Oh, no, dolphin. It's gone. It might come back to me in a bit. Yeah, that's funny. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that's proper hands. Oh, yeah, um, when dolphins are born, they're very similar to humans as well. Yes, there's another animal as well. Um, that's as a fetus. Um, similar to the way a human looks. Mm. Then? Yeah. Very similar, that, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine if that it started like so, in the dolphin, and then it's because of that. There you go. There's that, a, that, that's why. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's that exactly the same. <laughs> Well, if you look at the picture above that, this. there's a human and a dolphin. That's mad, though. Imagine if a dolphin just popped out a human. Oh, God, you'd be like, oops, wrong fetus. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? I think the best things is like kangaroos. I think they do it right. Just pop out a little tiny thing and then just let them grow in the yeah, sack. That's... Yeah, he crawls up to the yeah, sack. Yeah, that's the well, best way to do it. No pain. And away you go. Yeah, off you go. The turtles are brutal. But you just leave him on a sand, yeah. sandy beach and yeah. it's like, well, you'll survive, come back to the scene. Yeah. If you survive, you're good enough, that yeah. thing. Only the strongest survivor. Yeah, yeah. Some of them just get hit, some of them just die in the sun at the beach. And yeah. it's like, that's your baby self, but at least. <laughs> or just have the babies a bit closer to the sea, at least. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it walks miles onto the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> Got a thumb a lift to get to the water. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, oh, got rid of it completely. Um, there are more photos of trash bags on the moon than there are of photos of Neil Armstrong on the moon. Trash bags? Mm -hmm. Didn't Rubbish. Trash bags? Apparently. Apparently there's more I've photos. I've never seen any photos. You've never seen photos of trash? No. I know there is space trash. Um, so it's probably just landed on the moon then, isn't it? Trash bag. Oh. On the moon? So when you're recycling, you know you know where your rubbish is going. <laughs> just flogging off the moon. There's probably good trash bags, aren't there? The, f the first... F what? what was that? that the first photograph taken on the moon, many Armstrong, Armstrong featured a trash bag. <laughs> Why? That's probably one of those. Hmm? Can't see me one of ours. Can you get done for littering on the moon? You should. You should, but could you? Because... Surely that reel's only for Earth. Well, yeah, it's only real. Because no one Earth, owns the moon. No one owns Earth, really, but there's reels on the yeah, Earth. But, ah, but do anybody on the moon? Does anyone own Earth? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> and today we conspiracies with Steve and Stu. <laughs> What's that? It's a photograph. Is that our mate's dad? Is that the picture you sent? <laughs> 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 no, he did. Well, he didn't send a picture, did he? No, no, it was uh, writing on one of these machines. Here that it's he got. Like a can of beans as well. It's inside there. What? Down. Um, that, that. That one. That's that empty tin. They've done that so they could take a picture without it getting done for that's copyright. On a, that's on a table top, that. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 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 feedback in there. <laughs> picture that's <of> definitely <laughs> fake. <laughs> that's definitely fake. What's that one? Is that supposed to be real? To retrieve. 96 bags of poop. That's an astronaut's left behind on the moon. It's poo. Oh, yeah. You, you Trash bags of poo that. they've left on the moon. No. We get done for leaving dog shit on field. And it's not even. And they're leaving human shit on the moon. It's not even going to biodegrade as well because there's no atmosphere. <laughs> Just the stain fresh. Imagine all them bags. What's in here? So you're going to get <laughs> a 60 odd year old poop. turd. Yeah. That's minging, that. Huh? I can't believe her. <laughs> I just thought it was going to be rubbish, but I suppose what rubbish would you have on a, on a Why spaceship? Can't you just bring it back with them. Why can't they poop and then just shoot it into, into space? Well, that's would it make a little comet of shit? <laughs> <laughs> like shit flying at you. <laughs> Coming in. Through, <laughs> cover in Imagine getting KO'd on Earth by right? flying shit. Getting yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Oh, that'd be horrible. That was some hot shit, though. Oh, <laughs> I. So did they actually ride them? The little buggies? On things. the moon, yeah. 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 They cool that, wasn't it? Whether they brought... I don't think they brought them back. They just left them there. It's of left course, them. everything gets left there, including the shit. Yeah. So. That's terrible. I know. I, be, I, I didn't know that. That's, shouldn't be You heard it here first. Get, get them told off. Get them done. Actually, don't. It's my uncle. Uncle Neil. Um, Doggerland. Have you ever heard of Doggerland? Doggerland? Mm. No. It was an area of land now submerged beneath North Sea that connected Great Britain co to continental Europe. Okay. And it's just below sea now, so you can't see it anymore. Okay. But it was a big patch of land. I'll show I can, you. It's I pretty can cool. I can believe that, actually. But somebody said, is that like uh, the mothership for doggers? <laughs> <laughs> Doggerland. There it is. All this green bit. Around Great Britain. Okay. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And that's just under the sea now. Yeah, so basically, if all the sea. We'd be connected to Denmark, Netherlands, Belgium, we'd walk across, wouldn't you? Yeah. And um, what's that, Brittany? What's Brittany? Brittany is part of France. Is it? Yeah. Let's try to nick out now, they spelled it wrong. <laughs> Britain, <laughs> nah. Yeah. So many places in the world that I've never heard of. That'd be interesting to see if, you know, if the. The water levels dropped and it drained away, and we get all that land back. Oh, all this? Yeah. Would we have it though? It'd be more. Do you reckon it'd have it? It'd be more houses to build, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. See the land that's gone, that dogger land. That's probably bigger than Great Britain. It looks it. It's massive. What's that one showing though? It says spring summer. Because that's gone, hasn't it? The flooding of Mesolithic 
Doggerland and the emergence of Lincolnshire. Don't know what that is. So it's too geography for me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was flooded by rising sea levels around 6500 to 6200 BCE. Mm-hmm. So it's been gone for a while, hasn't it? Before Christ. Yeah. Been for a long, long time ago. So that'd be well deep now, wouldn't it? See? Yeah, it'd be well deep that Well, now. well gone. Um, do you know what a Shirley is in prison? No. No? No. <laughs> You're about to be educated. Oh, here we go. <laughs> when Steve starts laughing, he says, <laughs> you know, you're in for a, a treat, I suppose you could say. So basically in prison, they get um, love letters, don't they? From right. the wives and stuff like that. Okay. And what the Shirley does is he's basically the bitch in the prison and he will stand there and read that letter from his wife in a funny voice so that they can wank. Nice. To the letter. <laughs> nice. So what a horrible job I'd been in Shirley. <laughs> slow down, slow down. <laughs> Make your voice squeakier. <laughs> so, not believable, this. <laughs> she don't sound like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, oh, I'm not good at impressions. <laughs> I'm not good at impressions. I can't wait for to see you, love. <laughs> She's rubbish. It's never going to work. Ooh, we'll have re good time. Yeah. <laughs> Did you also know that um, in female prisons, you know the uh, brushes that they use to brush the yards and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Did you know that they have uh, big wooden blocks on the end of the brush? No. So that they can't rape any other female prisoners with it. <laughs> right, okay. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. So it must happen a lot for them to have to do that. It must have done, yeah. With brooms. <sighs> a long brooms, isn't they? Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I wonder if they do that in male prisons, because you could do that to a male as well, wouldn't you? Ouch. Spike him. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch either way, yeah. <laughs> Nice mops in male prisons. <laughs> I just suppose, yeah. Uh, I'd hate to go to prison. I, do you reckon you'd be all right in prison? Do you no, you? no, no, no. I could be all right, me. I don't. You don't reckon I would be? Or you? No, I don't be? reckon I would be. I would. I'd just be uh, friends with everyone. I'm your friend. <laughs> No, we just equipped a mess in the corner. Would you? Yeah. Would you give them your stuff? Like, if they asked for If they came in, I said, I'd take you what you want. No, nah, I'm fighting. Fighting for everything, man. Just leave, just leave me this picture of my daughter. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> no, no, please, no. It's the only thing I want. <laughs> it's my picture now. It's my daughter now. <laughs> Get out of it. <laughs> take it. <laughs> um. Now, I was interested in this. I've not actually seen it, but apparently there's a Lady Boys vs. Trans War in, um, I don't know if it was Thailand or something. Um, Lady Boys vs. Trans. trans. Yeah. Oh, Lady G Boys. <laughs> yeah, boys. <laughs> Lady Boys vs. Trans. Um, what did you call it? It's almost, almost like a civil war. Oh, trans prostitute brawlsies, hundred street mob fight. That's why it was a street mob fight. So, what is the difference between lady boys and trans? Would you say? Well, it's just, I'm guessing trans is the one who's had the op. A lady boy's still got the dangly bits. Lady boy's still have dangly bits. Yeah. Right. I'm right. guessing, I don't know. So, uh, I'm guessing trans are kind of like stuck in the wrong body. And lady boys are just doing it for money, maybe. Yeah, uh, like, do you want to be a prostitute? Yeah, they're just gay gay men, basically. Are they? I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing. You know what I mean. Mad Barna, big street one. I wonder who won. You will not fight in that brawl. Well, I know what want to know is when you see women fight, they slap and pull her. Do that, what they do, or do they? They just pull her because the men are just punching. What is a lady boy? Here we go. Oh God, videos. Uh, it is a Thai term that is very close to being the equivalent of a transgender woman. It can also encapsulate effeminate gay men. So that sounds to me like the trans. Well, effeminate gay men are basically just men who dress up as women. Yeah. Right. But they're still men. So gay men dress up as women. 
transgender is I'm guessing the one who have transitioned from men to women by way of operations. Right. Here we go. We've got one that's saying, what is the difference between a lady boy and a transsexual? That's the question I should have asked oh, really. Shouldn't okay. I? Can I see some pictures? <laughs> Pervert. <laughs> lady boy is a porn term for transgender women. Generally, the pre-SRS, generally of Thai extraction, but not necessarily either of those things. Transsexual is a passe non-porn term for transgender women. It's fallen out of favour because it simply implies sexuality. Some people have tried to reclaim it for post-SRS trans people, but it's not mainstream usage. No, you may not <laughs> see pictures because one would be one one set would be pornographic and the other would be inaccurate. <laughs> All right, just get him down. <laughs> Chill out. Sophie is meant. I'm just Mad asking, a, I'm just asking that, a question. I know, Jesus. Can I see pictures? <laughs> Uh, why, what, why would what, he want to see pictures, pictures is my of, question of what oh, what, exactly. what part do you want to see exactly oh. lady boy is an English term in Thailand the term is kathoi kathoi is it kathoi 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 oh so next time we go to Thailand and say hey kathoi or kathoi and uh, kathoi and she said what what <laughs> you go what probably don't even read out but I'm not kathoi I'm going to read a uh, are you say probably kathoi kathoi <laughs> Does it seem like it would be right? Get high. <laughs> um, I need to say. Dear, can't we pronounce? Oh my god! How to pronounce Katawi? There it is. Katawi. Uh -uh. Wait, easy. Katawi. Katawi. I thought you were dead. Katawi. Katawi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I get it. Shut up. <laughs> Going on there, isn't it? Where was your tea then? Sorry, this bit. Do you want to read it? I just want to move on from that. Uh, let's go move on. No, right, move on. <laughs> move on from the trans. I mean, they're having war with each other. We don't want war with them. No. <laughs> yeah, leave them to it. Um, did, did you see the Northern Lights? Mmm. Mmm, interesting. I did, I got pictures. Did you read that? I did. I didn't see it, I was in work, <clears> I mean. I, so I was in work and, and I found uh, out you get to see Northern Lights and then the devil's take a picture. And you can't see it though, can you? Unless no, you couldn't really see it with the naked eye. Yeah. Uh, but you could um, with your phone. Right. That's cool. Where was that? Outside ours. Is it? Yeah. It's a bit scary though, isn't it, that we can see Northern Lights from you get. Yeah. What's going on though? It's just probably the Earth's positioned. They said it was going to bring a big geomagnetic storm. And it was going to basically wipe out electric. Well, it's brought a lot of nice weather with it. What? It's brought a lot of nice weather with it. It has, hasn't it? Lovely weather. 24 degrees. Off. When did it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Nice. I didn't know that. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Lovely. Lovely weather. See our friend Blue, Blue Nation have released a new song. Have they? What song is it? Uh, I don't know. Shall we play it? I'll find out now for you. Play a little bit of it, a little clip of it. If you won't mind. We can find we, it. We, we get, we get a flag for the copyright now from yeah. Nation. I'm Time sorry. is a thief. Oh, can't spell them. Time. Oh yeah, yeah I've not heard that one yet. Let's give it a go. See them fall down your face. This is Time is a Thief by Blue Nation. Currently touring around the UK again. Go and listen to them. Stop it there, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Don't yes, play too much that's again, uh, the new song. Very good. Oh, fantastic. Mm. And where was we at anyway? Uh, uh, moving on from transgender. No, no, we're on Northern Lights. Oh, then. Northern Lights. Yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he turned it to Blue Nation. So. Uh, oh, yeah, I was at work, and then uh, the day after, they said it would happen again, didn't they? Yeah, but and it, it clouded over. It didn't. I was like, back there, and every, I was like, nothing there yet. Yeah, clouded over. Nothing so there yet. I'll get the phone, just in case. 
Yeah. No, no, I can't I climbed it over the next night, so we couldn't really see him. Yeah, the other night I was off, that was ridiculous. I was just saying, I, I don't believe anyone. I reckon you've got all them pictures off the internet. <laughs> and I don't believe anyone now. Yeah, I got it, the pictures off. Happen. I got the pictures off the internet at the back of our house. Mm. Every person that took a picture is just like, there's nothing happening. I'll just get a picture of it. <laughs> this is what I've seen. <laughs> yeah, of course, you've been bloody Iceland there. Liar. I'd like to do that. I'd like to go to Iceland. Would so. you? Yeah. Well, I'm saying if that's the case in Iceland, where you have to see it through your phone, I don't want to go. I'll just take a look at picture online. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? No, I think it's more about the experience. I'd like to experience it. Yeah, is it Same cold thing. in Iceland, or is it warm? Yeah, cold. I thought Iceland was the warm the, one, and no. Greenland was the cold one. No, Iceland's still cold. Is it? Yeah. Let's see, check the weather in Iceland now. What do you reckon? They do have summers, like, but I don't think they're as warm as ours. Um, I reckon the weather now in Iceland is 19 degrees, what are you guessing? I reckon about 14 14 degrees. No, 10. I'll say 10. Okay. 10 degrees. Eight degrees, is it? Eight degrees. Light rain as well. Light well, rain. five degrees it is. Oh, it's five degrees. Well, it is chilly in Iceland, isn't it? It is. Iceland can... But I do it. think they I think they get up to around about 15 to 18 degrees. Yeah. Yeah. Eight degrees. It's roasting, isn't it? Eight degrees. Tropical. <laughs> Tropical. See, that's when you see them all in the t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> that's crap white weather, isn't it? Um, in winter. Minus. I some weather in winter. Oh, I think there's a minus two, roughly. Mm. That's not bad. We get that over here, don't we? Minus two. Yeah. We got worse. We had yeah, minus we get... 12 at one point. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're worse than Iceland. We How should be called Iceland. We're going further up north than us, and we still get colder than that. Mad, that, isn't it? And then uh, we put Greenland. Uh, there's somewhere in Russia that's like minus fifty in it. Yeah, it's somewhere. Oh, that's ridiculous. ridiculous. And you throw water you just <laughs> into an ice block before it hits floor. Greenland weather. I'm sure it's Greenland. They they messed up the. It was the Vikings that discovered it, didn't they? Is it? Yeah. So the Vikings went to. Um, Greenland's originally, I think it was, said it was full of, like, greeny patches and stuff like that, that we should move there type thing. So they brought everyone there, but when they got there, it was just all full of ice and that, and a lot of the Vikings died yeah. out because there was nothing there. And it's because they took them to the wrong patch, and it was actually Iceland that he was supposed to go back to. Nice. Iceland's full of green, and then he took them to Greenland, which is full of ice. Nice. So he messed it up. And well, it says there, um, cold winds up below... Zero degrees and cool and ephem ephemeral summers of between zero degrees and 10 degrees C. Right. Veg vegetative cover on the tundra is generally hardy plants of short stature. The fuck is that? That is an iceberg. In Greenland. In Greenland. <laughs> that is a big iceberg, that, that is isn't it? a monster iceberg. Yeah, that could be a mammoth in there, couldn't you? It probably is. Probably is, yeah. Weather and climate in Greenland. Oh, God, we've got in Greenland.com, you know. Oh, look at them ice blocks. Wow. How cool are them? That'd be cool to go to. I think we should go. Would you have a bite? And it'd be salty, wouldn't it? Would it? Yeah, Is it seawater? I think it'd be salty, yeah. Imagine that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting. Yeah, that's well cool, that, though, wouldn't it? I mean, I'd love to go with that part of the world. I really would. What's Greenland in that? Greenland, Iceland. The weather. Oof, that looks scary, that. This, there was a... Um, a volcano, volcano getting struck by lightning the other day, wasn't there, as well? Was there? I don't know where that was. I've seen a video of it, it was well cool. I saw a video of um, a UFO over a volcano when it had a light going in and the volcano was exploding. Really? Yeah. <laughs> fake. It was fake? Yeah. Oh, like proper terrible CGI, isn't it? Yeah. Indonesia, Mount Ruing. Maybe that was it. Oh. Or not. April 2024. Could be new news. Oh no, that's not it. But that scene was well cool. It was. The volcano was actually getting struck by lightning. At the top. That's scary weather, that, isn't it? it is. Imagine that in, in England. Same one, aren't it? Anyway, it was cool, honestly. I've seen it. <laughs> you know, Steve really yeah. bailed on you two again. 
stressing out about mm. his spending. <laughs> this is it, yeah. <laughs> this one was cool. Wow. How cool is that? Lightning just hitting the volcano. I wonder why it's targeted that way. So it does it again a few times when it starts erupting. It's just the same one. Huh? Oh no, it's not. That's like if God was really saying that to me. That's God trying to wake that volcano up, <laughs> like erupt and take up. them all out. Look like it already woken up. Yeah, scary that they wake up, though, isn't it? Is that why is it every like two hundred years? Something stupid. It depends on the uh, on the volcano. Yeah. But that's yeah. like a... They are an amazing, amazing force of nature. It is. It comes straight from the earth, doesn't it? I mean, mm. the core. Yeah. And it just... Basically, it's creating new land. It's basically a bloody, uh, you know, earth spot, isn't it? It mm. just pops its spot <laughs> yeah. and then just, <laughs> just gunk goes everywhere and it's a bit of a land. And it creates new land. Maybe that's what's on our face. When we pop a spot, we're just making new land on our face. Making a new face. For new... <laughs> yeah, making a new face. Yeah. For like all these germs <laughs> to live on. <laughs> Volcano face. Hmm. That's a new word for uh, acne now. Volcano oh, you've got that uh, good old volcano face. <laughs> <laughs> create new land for James. Yeah, create a face. Um, I forgot again. Uh, oh, man becomes his late wife. Have you seen that article? Man becomes his, li his late, late wife. wife. Yeah. Oh, so cool. basically what happened was I should mention this when I was on the trans section. Um, what happened was he was with his wife for uh, six years, I think it was. And anyway, it was like there was best mates, and then he must have been flirting with the idea of becoming trans anyway. But when she died, he basically took over her identity and became her. Right. And looked, tried to make himself look like her and everything, like makeup wise. So then what happened to him? What do you mean? Was he living a double life? No, no, he was still that person. He didn't actually take a life. He's just. Trying to be her. Oh, right. Okay. He didn't actually take the idea. He was just that. adopting the identity. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, let's see if there's a picture of him. Man becomes. Oh, my fingers are too fat for this keyboard. I brought my dead wife back to life for free care. <laughs> that's the wrong article, well, that's interesting. Um, Man is certain his wife died three years ago, accidentally meets her again. What? I'm curious about that story. This seems to be everywhere, isn't it? I brought my dead wife back. Free grand. Oh, what have we found here? Look at this one. Bangkok man, 72, who lived with the body of his dead wife. 20, for 20, 21 years after she died. Wow. So that, that must have been just a skeleton, isn't it? She'd have had to have been. I'll click on that one. I know we're on a... See if there's any pictures. I don't know if I want to see him. I, I want to see how she looks like. What, after 21 years of being dead? No, there's no pictures. Probably so. Weird that one, right? Yeah. Talk about not moving on. Christ. I'm going back to this one because I can't find the other one. The man stuck... That nicked his wife's identity. I was heartbroken when my wife died, so I brought her back to life for free care. How? Oh, he had a like life like doll oh, made to resemble right. his okay. late wife. That's not the right article to write, is it? I was heartbroken with so I brought her back to life. Yeah. He didn't. He made a doll that looks like a little creep. That's weird that. Uh, and where's this? Indrana. Is that someone's name? No, that's his name. Where is that from? They look Indian. I was going to say, but I didn't want to say because... Oh, they do look like from... We're not doing India any favours today, are we? <laughs> you look like from around India, way. Could be... Um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the area now. Maybe Malaysia or something like that. Yeah. Malaysia. I don't know. Doesn't say. 
But that's weird. I don't condole in that. I thought it was a real picture first. I, I did. She, but then now you can so, tell it first, can't you? It's You're so well fake. Yeah. It's that big mama. <laughs> <laughs> Play it all first. If uh, you can do that, why, why not but then get another wife? That looks like her. And then have her made up to be... What do you mean? Like, like on, you just said big mama is in big mama's house. Oh, yeah. Get someone just to wear prosthetics. Who's going to do that? Pay, pay someone to do it. Oh, pay someone. That's yeah. going to cost more, isn't it? If you want to keep her. Well, if she's from poor... Well, I can I keep you for free care for the rest of your life? Yeah, I'll give, Almost you, like I'll give you and your family 3K. You? I mean, 3K probably in India or Malaysia is probably a hell of a lot of money. I reckon. Could be. Could be, <laughs> yeah. But it'd be a crap job, wouldn't it? For the rest of your life, that's a big contract to sign. It that, is, isn't it? Just to be somebody else. But you could probably buy a sex doll for that. <laughs> For that price, <laughs> I wonder if she's a sex doll. I hope not. Oh God, I'm just gonna say no, but I would have upgraded <laughs> a couple of items. <laughs> oh. Moving on, before I get sold off <laughs> or cancelled, <laughs> cancelled again. Once again, self balancing motorcycle. Have you seen that? No, I'm interested. Uh, I've heard about it. I've got a little video over here, I think. Oh, this is it. I don't know how well it's going to work, though. Defy gravity and glide through your city with this self-balancing, fully enclosed electric motorcycle. At the heart of the Autobalance electric vehicle is its cutting-edge gyroscopic technology, ensuring it remains balanced at all times. This allows it to tilt into corners with a lean angle of up to 45 degrees, offering an exhilarating ride that's also secure and stable. Refueling is rapid and efficient. Achieve a full charge in just five that minutes cool, in a Tesla cool. supercharger, or opt for a standard 110 volt outlet for a yeah, six-hour well charge. Yeah, cool, that one. It does. I like this it. Support I like that. I like that. Miles of range at an economical one dollar and twenty-five cents per charge. That's the cool, isn't it? Yeah. With front and side airbags. Lip Motors will be developing the vehicle to meet European NCAP homologation standards, as they are safer and more comprehensive than U.S. car safety standards. Lit says that the vehicle is designed to be driven in rain, sleet, or snow. Lit Motors is currently taking pre-orders for the self-balancing motorcycle, and you'll be put in the queue 6 to 12 months before production starts. The price to reserve one is $250. What? Designed by Daniel Kim, a visionary oh, educated at institutions like MIT and UC Berkeley, Lit Motors AEV redefines city travel by merging the excitement of a motorcycle with the safety and comfort of a car. Would you buy this self-balancing motorcycle? Yes, I yeah. would. I'm, I'm, that, I'm going to reserve one. <laughs> that's cool, isn't it? It is. I'd like one of them. I mean, they're not. But the only question I've got is, how do you, like, how does it stand up? It's oh, self-balancing, it? Yeah, but you self balancing all the time. Even it's it off. must be, because it's... Oh, it probably has. I mean, like when your car, when you switch your car off, it's not off, is it? Because your clocks are still running. And stuff yeah. Like that. So the gyros are probably still running. Yeah, but it costs it unless a lot of unless there is a stand that you pop. So when you actually switch the power off, it oh yeah. So when you switch it off, it comes out like a plane. Yeah, probably running. like a stand that you lean onto it, or you no, know, like you do as a general motorbike. You keep the kickstand comes out. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's got one of them on it. But like an automatic one inside the pit. yeah. Maybe you you press the button and the yeah, stand comes out. So then yes. when you power it off, it can't fall over. Makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. But I, I think they look pretty cool. They did, didn't they? Yeah. That one, like a little Tesla, didn't it? Yeah. A little, little cool, that. Nippy little things. Yeah. But you said you can charge in five minutes on a Tesla supercharger. Is that what you said? Yeah. Five minutes? Wondering how many miles that covers? Uh, they did say what range it was. I'd get one then to just go to work and back. I would. It's pretty cool. You just whip in and out the traffic. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> I don't even want to see what that video is connected to it. That's all I know. Though. Somewhere it's like China, no Chinese girl. Falling. Oh, she's on the phone. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's fell in stairs. Yeah, she KO'd herself. She's still got a phone in her hand, though. Fair enough. That must have hurt her. And that—that's the dangers of uh, being on your phone all the time when you're walking, isn't it? Yes, I've seen lots of things. Lots of people fall over. Being, being squashed. Silly, nearly getting squashed. Christ, that must have hurt that. Um, where was I? Um, oh, have you seen that a portal they put up? 
Portal. Du- Dublin to New York portal. No. No, you've not seen it? No. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, it's been some funny things happening, though. It's been uh, stopped now, though, I think. So what it is, is like a big circular screen, and you can see all of, like, Dublin through one end, and then in New York, they can see all of... Right. Well, the opposite side. That's a good idea, isn't it? So it's like they're both, they can just go in streets and wait to people in New York. That's good. Yeah, but, so basically, people in New York putting up pictures of, like, potatoes and stuff, saying, potatoes! <laughs> oh. And Buddy Dublin have come back and started putting pictures Qu- of... Quaffy. No, started to bring pictures of Twin Towers up and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dublin for you. <laughs> and then you got people doing fingers up and all sorts and uh, showing their asses. But um, an OnlyFans model... I think it's from Dublin or New York, either way. Flashed. Nice. Because everyone made loads of money, and that's what made them can't stop it. They cancelled it, I think. Right. So, they've really not everything. That's a good idea, though, isn't it? It's a good idea, though. have a little yeah. show. Yeah. It's simple, but it's like a portal. It's cool. If you do one, Liverpool to Bangkok or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they're starting them everywhere, because it's a good idea. It's, yeah, yeah. It's just... Pop your head just, and see what's happening just, in New York and just, that. Just be careful. Yeah, just be careful. Just don't be doing stupid stuff. Yeah. Mm. Like it. See if there's any videos of it. Inappropriate behaviours shuts down Dublin to New York. Today there's always one person. Celebrate. Yeah, there always will be. You get these good ideas. Well, remember that new yeah. art installation that we told you about in the Flatiron District called The Portal? It was supposed to connect people in Manhattan to people thousands of miles away in Dublin, Ireland. But in just about an hour from now, it is closing down, turned off because of inappropriate <laughs> behavior. The group behind the installation says it needs some time to figure out how to deal with people behaving Badly. I want to use reporter Michelle Charlesworth is live in the flat iron with the very latest. Michelle. Yes, well, uh, it's still going. The portal is still transporting images for now. They were going to shut it down at 3. Then they changed the time, as you uh, just told everybody, 5 o'clock. So we're going to wait for that. But New York City has a long and very interesting history of inappropriate behavior, so-called. Um, I'll get into that a little bit. And some people are here saying, you know what? This was just a matter of time. It ruins everything. It ruins the fun. Oh, man. People love this portal out here at 5th and 23rd. It was the always going to happen, though, wasn't it? Yeah. You always get idiots. Bad yeah. apples were being but it'd be good as... Here. You and can't just... Say, something like that would be good if you could get in touch with a relative, if you live... So far, you get yeah, just go and meet, have a coffee, have a coffee, meet up, you can go and meet up, you know, and then just stay on the phone. Yeah, just stay on the phone, you know, talking and to each other, having a coffee, yeah. and see each other, all right, out of there. Is this live art installation connecting New York City Me and you should do it. Ireland. So it you, if it stays open, you one of us got New York, one of us got Dublin. Yeah. We're laughing like, yeah! Just for a day. It works! This finger thing happened right in front of us. Here is a statement from the group that People can't the help themselves, can they? No. It's, it's like, oh, I'm going to be nauseous. Oh, I'll flip the bird out. The portal's team and our partners in Dublin are working on idiots. additional solutions, including software updates to limit such behavior. In a- what would it do? Like, this blur people out? No, I think what it'd probably do is have a, like, a slight delay on it and let like, AI take over that, that delay to filter out any people giving the bird fingers flashing. Just have a, like, the a delay little... ruins it, though, isn't it? So you'd well, be like, hello, and you'd be like... It's the only way they're going to be able to do it, isn't it, to filter I'm out? Reckon. Yeah, it's the only way you're going to be able to do it. So either that or you just don't do it or get fined. You get caught doing it, you get fined. Yeah, because you're on camera, aren't you? Because you're out so in public. Do, yeah. So if you're going to flash your back... That's all you need to do. Put a fan on everything that you do, like, if you're flipping the bird, it's a light farm but you get one even if it's just a father it's, you, you, know, do it, you? you know if you were out, out in public now and flapped your baps or got your <laughs> flapped your baps <laughs> or got your todger out or something you'd get, you'd get done for it yeah. for public indecency so yeah it yeah. should be the same thing should happen yeah, yeah a little fine or something like that I flapped your baps <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying so if you flip your baps yeah I like the idea I mean but uh, yeah no that's a brilliant idea and that'd be good for like say if you wanted to See a relative you're not seeing for a while, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, have you heard of uh, fat walks? Fat walks. <laughs> <laughs> I love these things you quote with. How do, how do you find these things? I look and I don't get nothing. You know. What? <laughs> I don't. 
don't know. I just come across everything. I think my like Facebook and stuff are just linked to like stupid stuff. <laughs> it's like, like this is ridiculous. Hang on. That's going to help you age. Go. Going for a fart walk after dinner is something that's going to help you age wonderfully. And if you follow me, you know that my husband and I go out for fart walks most nights after dinner. So about 60 minutes after we've eaten, we put on our running shoes and off we go. She is our absolute favorite, our good friend, so, Marilyn Smith. So they go out and just viral. fast. Yeah. Um, so go apparently it's good for you to just and chivet and all that and just go for a walk and you just fart just let it out and then by the time you get home you're all well I, I, I do that anyway I just do it in the house <laughs> I, just, I do I just do it in the house we just do it anywhere yeah. I, was, I was in the shops just know. fart walk talk and sit I was, in, the sh I was in a a shop the other day with the, the missus it was actually yesterday actually and yeah. I was just farting away and she was oh, well, in, in shopping centre yeah in the shop oh in the shop. that I get embarrassed me and she, she was like oh Stu you stink Really? And I'm like, stay close. I get embarrassed, man. So why, why are you staying so close? So I don't get the blame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, I was looking at fridge the other day. I'd just been for a run and I had top off and I was looking at fridge for something. I can't remember, like a drink or something. And then I came past and put something freezing cold on me uh, on my back. I went, ah! <laughs> 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 it's like, shocked me and I just did a little fast. So I was just like, you scared the shit out of me, literally. <laughs> <laughs> so I get still embarrassed by farting. No, I, I don't. I just do it. Uh, stuff it. Even like in public, like, even at work and stuff, me. I, I just get embarrassed at first. I don't know why. So I just don't like being smelly. <laughs> it smells like shit, doesn't it? So <laughs> I don't want to smell that shit. No, I just go for it. Just go for it anyway. Yeah. It's not too bad in there, your work, though, because you're farting there. It's like a big open space, isn't yeah. it? So yeah. So, not too bad. So someone comes over and talks to you and you're like, oh, oh. It stinks, eh? I, I just warn them, is it? Like, you'd have to walk through a, a gas cloud. <laughs> do, do you give them a warning? Yeah. <laughs> do you have like a little badger you can flip down and see him just farted? You're about to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> just farted. So, I might start going for fart runs. That'd be a good idea. Just let it all out when I'm on, on my run. I used to do that one. Till I, I look back at me, there's a, like a jogging team behind me. <laughs> oh, <class. laughs> no. Oh, oh class. <laughs> I used to do that with athletics. What? This when, when I used to go on the running track in competition. Yeah. Mark said, go on a run. And go, <laughs> <laughs> That's that turbo boost kicking off. <laughs> Got a faster start. Yeah. <laughs> Christ. Me nerves. Yeah. There's, um, so I want to talk to you about this, but I'm going to have to delete it because it's about my boss. So, when I'm able to do 54 minutes, I remember this. No, I, Pause it. I'll just... Okay, I'll, I'll pause it as here. Yeah. So, no, you can't. Can't get away with it, can you? Can't get away with that, oh, no. Uh, but we're back anyway. We're back. <laughs> delete that section. Right? Yeah, delete that bit. Um, Justin Bieber, where are you now? Hidden messages. This oh, is one. We're on to one of conspiracies now. No, I'm going to try and... I think there's a video on here. What are they going to say Justin Bieber's now? Elvis. Yeah, as you know. <laughs> uh, what, what, where are you now? So, did you know about um, Justin Bieber pretty much being one of them that got fiddled, apparently, by Puff Daddy and basically one of them kids that went to the island and all that? Uh, nope. Apparently, he was one of them. Okay. And uh, and the song "Where Are You Now?" There was a backdrop of loads of like scribbles and stuff. It yeah, flicks through dead quick. I remember that. Wasn't yeah, it, uh, by Skrillex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you slow it down, all the messages are like really like, "Help me, stop choking me," and stuff like that, and really dark and scary. <laughs> it's like uh, videos. You have to show me how to use this Discord because I don't want a clue. Discord. Mm. Here we go. This is the one to show you. If you're reading this, then it's already too late. Help me, please. Can you turn the quality up at all? How is that it? Heroin is cool. Mm. <laughs> Oh, hang on, what's this? Instagram 
or Malay 233. I don't know who that is. Do we have a look? Oh. Do we have a look? Go on then. Have you got Instagram there? Some that hidden message. Is that all oh, that? O M A L E H H 233. I thought it was an O or a big U. I'd say that was an O. I reckon. Oh my. Is it there? I like. Oh, there. Oh my lay, two, three, three. The woman. I like food. Maybe he knows her somehow. <laughs> Orna. What? Oh, oh Orna. yeah, Orna. Yeah, it's O O A N A, isn't it? Yeah. So someone else probably thought that's how he spelled it and made that account, didn't they? On a lay two three three. No, it hasn't come up with anything. Is it not? No. I wonder if it's that cartoon art. <laughs> no. Unless it yeah, might be. This art that they've done. Is it by Arnold? 2016, what happened in 2016? I saw the name of Robert Downey Jr. then. Did you? Mm. Where? Go back. A little bit. Before that. What was it? There you go, at the top, Robert Downey Jr. Mario, Mario. Oprah. Diana. Diana, Ellen, Obama, Putin, Taylor Swift. Is that a list? There's names on the island. Diplo, Skrillex, Justin, God, Satan, Nazareth, so Moses, just, Ezekiel. So then two, they've made it that like, that's the name of the song people well, in it. Diplo and Skrillex are the people who did yeah, the song. Yeah, yeah, and Justin. It. And then after that, it just seems like a list of... Wild Boys. Because they seem like names that could, would be on that list. Because they was on the list, weren't they? I don't you know. Had, um, Obama was on the list. I don't know who Putin was, but Taylor Swift, I think, was. And there's a few... Diana, Diana. 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 You know I mean, you can't be our Diana. Do you reckon? No. No, our Diana's too, too, too innocent. Morpheus, Ezekiel, they're all like gods, aren't they, them yeah, ones? Moses. Do, they're all to do with Sa it. Satan. Well, Morpheus, Neo, they're from, I think, aren't they? Right, Matrix. But it does seem very, like, hidden messagey, doesn't it? Don't you that is. The, get, the greatest trick I've ever did. The devil. False god. Stop choking me, please, Justin. Okay, <laughs> I'm not reading that one. <laughs> Whoa, that one's dodgy. What's going on there? Hell yeah. What was it say? Tall yeah, yeah something Hell like yeah. That. Hell yeah. Dodge that, isn't it? He's behind him, huh? Is that meant to be? Big puff. God, it's depressing, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something behind that. It's got to be. I don't know, I mean, is it not just something to you talking? You get people talking to evoke a reaction? But it's all coming out about him now, isn't it? Justin Bieber. Is it? Yeah. I don't but know, I've never really, I kid, don't really know much about this island. I've not really read it much up, up over it. And then there's uh, videos of Justin Bieber that had, he's been avoiding, Puff Daddy and stuff. He right. said, um, hey, yeah, Justin, you didn't give me your number. He said, oh, did I not? Uh, my number's... Um, uh, and he tries to uh, avoid giving it him, like, it's, it's mad. Was it Justin Bieber's 48 hours with Diddy at the top? Oh, yeah. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to let you rock, because every time you get yeah. Yeah, because he lived with him for a while, didn't he? Did when he was 16. He lived with Puff Daddy. Okay. okay. All right, so, so, so I'm going to be yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down there, you got to, you know... Passenger seat, I got my permit. Now that. Not yet? No. Alright, no, 16. No. No. Where do you want to go? Where are we going? <laughs> we just. 
So check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in. You ever seen the movie Forty Eight Hours? Right now, he's having Forty Eight Hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Bit weird, um, that. We we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a fifteen year old's dream. Um, you know, I I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed to Usher. I'm signed to Usher. Uh, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when... <sighs> weird. There's too much weird stuff going on in the world mm -hmm. at the minute. Uh, full of conspiracies. My dad said that to me the other day. Yeah, turn into a conspiracy theory. <laughs> yeah. I know, I can't help it. I fall into him. It's a rabbit hole. Don't mean to. It just does happens. Um... While we're on that topic of conspiracies, I'll show you that uh, King one. Oh yeah, because I saw I saw King this this Charles. video and I, I didn't know what I was looking at. What of um, the King? The one that uh, I did. Or? Is that what you did? Yeah. I didn't know what I was this. looking at. Yeah. So you, you said this is you doing that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Flip it and reverse it. So can you not see that devil there? Oh, there in the middle. Oh, is that what it yeah, is? Yeah. Right, okay. And do you think that's what the it... The devil's face and arms and that. Do you think that's what it is meant to be or it's just... I don't know, it's just coincidence, I think, but <laughs> it's weird. But if you flip it straight, it does the same thing. It's the devil again. Right. It's just weird. It's a strange image, though, isn't it? Like that's, is that his new portrait? That's his new painting. I do actually like for it. For the castle. You like it? Yeah. It's very hellish, though, isn't it? I... I Think it. Red's always been the colour of blood and death, even in Gladiator. Everything they used to hang red shit, didn't they? Because it was all well, like, yeah. Death but I, I do actually like the the painting. I think it because he's an, an ugly get, and so I, I think they've been generous with his I fingers. Think they've been very generous with his fingers. Though. I think they've been generous with his face as well. Skinny fingers. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, something dodgy going on with that royal family as well. So he's an ugly get. <laughs> Just, why don't you just pass it on to his son? Did you re know the reason why medieval castle staircases were so narrow? Um, something to do with um, fighting on the stairs. It so was, yeah. It was, so the, the person at the top gets the, the upper hand. Yep. So the reason why most staircases in the medieval castles and were built and you can't be extremely narrow and spiralling in a clockwise direction is... Since medieval castles were built mainly as fortification staircases were designed to make it extremely difficult for enemy combatants to fight their way up. Yep. Since most soldiers were right-handed, they would need to round each curve of the inner wall That's before why they attempting curve. That's why they to strike. To the right yeah, you yeah. The right, it's difficult. So when you come down the stairs, you're right-handed, you hit them. Yeah. But you, you just said you left-handed men, wouldn't you? You send all, all left handed men! All left handed men! <laughs> Go ahead! <laughs> yeah. And where was it up to then? Yeah, it was, oh. Before attempting to strike, inevitably exposing themselves to the, in the process, the clockwise spiral staircase also allowed the defenders to use the inner wall as partial shield and easily allow them to swing their weapon without being hindered by the curvature of the wa outer wall. The stairs were also intentionally poorly lit and built to be uneven, making it even more difficult for the attackers to gain any sort of balance or momentum during their fight at the captured castle. Mm -hmm. They also had um, little poop walls so that, that was directed directly into the sea. Yep. So they just shit straight into the sea. <laughs> yeah, so we, we don't care, humans do. We're yeah, shitting we on moon, we're we shitting don't in the sea. We just shit everywhere, don't we? No, yeah, we just, go, we just go for it. <laughs> I feel like you got something up there. Uh, no, on only, phone. only me. Yeah, yeah, random fact of the day. Oh yeah. Okay, that well, will um, melt your brain. Okay, well, let's, let's, uh, let's do it. In the vast and cosmic dance, where stars ignite and fade, a fact so profound in the fabric of space it laid. Did you know, my friend, is a curious thing. The hottest spot in the universe is not what you think. It's that time again. What time do you see, my friend? It's time to give you a fact that'll melt your brain. 
It's time to give you a fact that'll make you insane. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> there are more planes in the sea than there are submarines in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> it made me actually think for a minute. It's like, oh yeah, there is quite a few planes, and it's like, some hey, she got up to the sky. <laughs> That'll be a weird See, fact. That'll melt your brain. That, that. That's one of your best ones. That's my favourite one. That's so far. <laughs> That's brilliant. <though. laughs> Imagine if those submarines just fly, just floating on little balloons or something. <laughs> Did you get up there? It died. <laughs> I like that. Um, Did you see that f- um, missing man that was missing for 30 years? He'd been captured by neighbours. So they captured him and kept him... Uh, as in captive. As in neighbours, the TV show. Or? <laughs> no, no. neighbours. <laughs> <laughs> no, fa- I'll read it out instead. Family of missing man held captive in neighbours' cellar for nearly thirty years. Speaks out. Okay. Um, let's have a look. See if we can find him speaking out. Missing man. Hang on. Should be there, captive. There he is. Omar bin Ham Omran. Thirty years. Have I made the right find? Is this a video of them finding him or something? Right? Right. Uh when it plays that is. Don't wanna see this advert again. Come on. That's an awful sign there. Oh yeah, they're just... That's a matter of what country is that in? Algeria. Oh. I thought I didn't mean that it was American. <laughs> 30 years. He was rescued last Sunday from the home of a 61 year old neighbour. A full 27 years after he went missing. He said 30 before, isn't it? Liars. Um, now 45 years old. So how old was he when he got captured? It was 27 years ago. Uh, so, so you got uh, 20, so it'll be 38, 17, 17, yeah. Uh, 17 years of age, you got captured. So that's 17, I would have gone mental. Yep. 17, I was a little child back then. Mm. <laughs> um, no, reportedly, found in hair covered contraption compared to a sheep pen in the cellar of the hall. I uh, didn't know it's him. Probably some kind of records. Did, did they? I'm guessing they like took him away and then did like records and Probably. blood tests and all yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear about the Japanese World War Two soldier who didn't surrender? No. Hiru Onoda remained in the jungle on Lubang Island near Luzon in the Philippines until 1974 because he did not believe that the war had ended. <laughs> he was finally persuaded to emerge after his aging former commanding officer was flown in to see him. Correspondents say he was greeted as a hero on his return to Japan. Oh. So yeah, he kept he kept he was sent into the jungle uh, with his um, I suppose you could say his comrade, his partner. Right. There you go. That's him. Ah. And he kept and he kept fighting the war because he hadn't he, he, hadn't he hadn't received any information to say that the war had ended. Right, so he thought it was still so going on. He kept going. He kept how, on. How sending. long ago was that? Afterwards. Well, he, he carried on going after the I mean the war ended what 1945 and he yeah. kept he kept on in the jungle surviving well for 29 years he was still, in the send, still sending information back to but nobody was receiving these things. there you are it was, in the, it was 29 years in jungle that's a long time to be in the jungle isn't it yeah how did you survive in the jungle for 29 years that's dedication, though. Mm. 
I don't, he hadn't I don't received word that the war had ended. The people had seen sights of him, so people tried to reach out to him, but he would chase them off. Oh. And say that he they were all, he's saying that they were all, you know, when people say, Look, do you know that the war's ended? Yeah. He was like, You're lying. We've not received word. Get out of here or you're going to die and stuff like that. I am. Stick, man. Fair, fair enough to him, but. Yeah. So he probably spent a lot of his life fighting when he didn't have to. That's how yeah, I Well, I mean, he wasn't really fighting as well. He was just uh, ready to receive up, waiting to receive further orders. <laughs> yeah. His orders were to go to the jungle for whatever reason. With his um, his, co- his war war buddy, his soldier who was with him, yeah, and this one died. I mean, he had a good life, didn't he? Ninety one, he died. Mm. That's a long life, that about there, wasn't it? But imagine, 91. imagine living like that, still thinking that the war's on, then eventually getting persuaded, like by your commanding officer, yeah. who eventually came to see you, seeing that how different his commanding officer would look. Uh. And then so look, the, the war ended twenty odd years ago. <laughs> what are you doing? And you're coming out and you see just how different the world yeah. was twenty seven years later. I mean, man, don't. That's a lot happened in twenty seven years, isn't it? Yeah, 20. it did. Jesus, not twenty nine years. Well, twenty nine years. Huh? When ten years, that's when all the so uh, like, you know, evolution of the phones. I think. So nineteen forty five is when the war ended. Nineteen forty five. Yeah. So forty five, fifty five, sixty five. Almost seventies. Almost into this, and he came out. Well, he was came out of the jungle in the seventies. Yeah, so it was like nearly thirty years. Yeah, yeah. So he wouldn't have wished, witnessed the birth of the Beatles. He wouldn't have yeah. witnessed the birth of Fleurs. It's mad, that, isn't it? Platform shoes, Bruce Lee films, <laughs> yeah, you all their the martial art films, yeah. all the greats. How <laughs> uh, much changed though? So, so it's half your life gone, isn't it? Wasted. Yeah. But yeah, dedication. That yeah. was the. Japanese soldiers they were dedicated they'd probably be back at war soon wouldn't they well, you know, everyone else is yeah everyone's doing seems it, to so. be a trend at minute start war with someone who do you reckon we, we should take, start a war with who do you reckon uh, we'd kick ass against if, 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 he, he would, if you had to pick a war against who are you picking oh <laughs> god I don't know do you reckon France or something are you good at France these days I you'd be really good at war with France but I don't think they're good anymore I don't know I don't know I reckon we'd batter France Probably would. <laughs> Apologies to any French <laughs> listeners out there, but you haven't got a good track record. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, Ireland, I reckon. They're at war I'll anyway. I'll, I'll, are they? Ireland, though. <laughs> They're still at war. Are they? Yeah, with, with themselves. With themselves, yeah. Mm. I think it's Australia. It's a big old place. Well, we're, we're friends with them. I know, but I mean, would you have war with them? Do like, you reckon we'd win? No. Why? If we had to go out there, we couldn't survive in the planes. We'd get hit by bloody spiders. That's what I mean. <laughs> they'd just send the spiders <laughs> out send, to war. They'd send the bugs at us, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot the spiders! Have you ever seen the size of their spiders? No, they are big, aren't they? Bigger than the B-52 bombers. <laughs> they'd come up to them like, that's not a knife. <laughs> Shit, crocodile dundees happen. <laughs> yeah. I, I, in a war, though, I reckon we'd do them. It would do them in a straight war. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to think of someone else. Canadians. Canadians? Mm. Oh, God. I, the war wouldn't last too long because this is so nice, isn't it? Yeah. It'd be like, You'd feel get sorry. home. It'd be like, oh, hey, do we have to do this, guys? We'd feel sorry for them, wouldn't we? It'd be like, oh, fair enough. You've you got a point. Fair enough, we'll go. You've got a sorry. point. Yeah, sorry. Apologise. Yeah, sorry. We'll, play, we'll leave a white flag as well. I, I didn't, you didn't, win. didn't mean to shout at you. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Give us a hug. Come here, bring it, bring <laughs> it in. <laughs> He's a burr rug. A burr behind him. <laughs> rug. That's their, that'll be their secret weapon. Their niceness. Bring in the burrs. <laughs> All right, when he comes in for the hug, get the bird in. Yeah. I'm bloody snow skis followed by burrs. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck's this? <laughs> so I think someone else. Well, we've got like Switzerland so far. We, we'd wipe them out, wouldn't we? Switzerland. They're, they're in a neutral country. That's anyway. what I mean. So to attack them. <laughs> they're too nice. <laughs> We'll take them. <laughs> Hello, welcome <laughs> to Switzerland. Stab. <laughs> Dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you kill me. <laughs> oh, no, you kill me. <laughs> the end of Switzerland just because okay, it's so nice. Okay, put the birdie in the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. So who would you get there? Would you get France, Australia, Canada. Switzerland, Canada? No, Canada. Canada, Canada took us out, didn't they? No, Canada took us out because we... We, we, fell, up, we, we, fell, we fell for their niceness. Yeah, yeah, we fell for their niceness. Well, Switzerland was too nice. I think we just, I think we just go guns in, all blazing, just go to America. Oh, 
have a tough fight. One on one. So Go in, it'd be like bare knuckle. Yeah, America versus UK. Yeah. They got a lot more people, haven't they? Bare knuckle it's war. Bigger place. But it's always, always like a, a thing that isn't it like who's the best army and stuff like yeah. that between UK yeah. and USA. Yeah. Thing is, though, they it's send a lot of their guys over to us to get trained by our SAS. Yeah, yeah. Because it's tougher, isn't it? Oh, speaking of SAS, did you ever watch, have you watched uh, that new film, The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare? No. Oh, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a really good film. Oh, is it a film? Yeah, it's, it's based on, a documentary. loosely based on true stories. What is it? Yeah. What's it called? It's from the Second World War. The uh, Ministry. The mini- There you go. That, yeah, of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It's How got, old is it? It's, got, oh. it's new. It's got yeah. Superman in it. Oh, look at him. It's yeah, the thing it's, you it's got um, Jack Reacher. It? It's a sexy man, man, isn't it? Yeah, he's Jack Reacher. Yep, Jack Reacher. He's a good-looking fella, him. He is, isn't he? I wouldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> With arms like that, you couldn't say yeah. no anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he would, yeah. He would bear rug you. That looks good, actually. This is a really good film. My missus enjoyed it as well. Right. When's that from? Is it out now? Yeah. Yeah. I'll give that a watch. It's good now. Uh, directed by Guy Ritchie. It's just a shit title, isn't it? That's probably why it's not done as good as it has. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. That's yeah. too long, that, isn't it, for a title? It's, but it's a good Fair film. It's long. a really good film. Get it watched. Like when you was going through the title, I nearly fell asleep. Just when you say saying title. <laughs> just like, the Unjudges. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it? Warfare. <laughs> Warfare, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I need to take a picture of that. Just so I can... I'll probably watch that tonight. Oh no! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Can't have my face like that. Do it again. <laughs> there you go. Oh, right. Anyway, I need to take a picture of the film. <laughs> Get on that. Have you watched Baby Randy yet? No. No. Okay. There's no point now. So it's gone now. <laughs> it's one of them, isn't it? It was it. I, I will the time. Go, I will watch it. it. It's still worth a watch. It is good, like, but I always do that thing. It's like so much big. He's like, oh, I need to watch. That, I need to watch that, and then everyone shuts up. But it's like it's too late. Now. It's gone. Ship sailed. So is it? Oh, it's a bit Nazis. Yeah. Nice. I love a Nazi. Second World War. Uh, based. Oh, look at these are based on true story. They were these sort of like the first. Black Ops. It's Guy Ritchie as well. It's got to be good, on it? Yeah. Guy Ritchie is such a fun It's They were kind of like the, the first Black Ops, you know, unsanctioned. Guy mission. Ritchie's got a, kind of like um, a Quentin Tarantino type feel. Yeah, you, silly you, you always know when it's a Guy Ritchie film, don't you? Like I say, you always know when it's a Tarantino film. Yeah, yeah. Tarantino, if it's not got about 80 li- gallons of bloody blood everywhere, then it's not... And, <laughs> and oh, copious amounts of N-words. Yeah. OTT. The it? guy Richie is just like straight on the, the hammer of violence. Yeah. <laughs> There's always some kind of fight in it. I can't wait to watch that now. I've been watching, um, what's it called now? Stephen Merchant series. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the Eight Laws. Have you watched it? No. Uh, give that a watch. Really good. It's on uh, BBC iPlayer series. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, I'm not going too deep into that. Just watch it. It's good. <laughs> and have you got anything else for me? Uh, no. No. Okay. I've got one more thing. Do you remember uh, Earth Attack? Earth Attack. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Buchanan. Yeah. Do you remember Ed? Head in it. Yeah. The rubber sort of. D- did you ever see the, the message in his ear? No. no. <laughs> um. Earth Attack head. Um, what's it say there? Oh, sex. Yeah. <laughs> Have you never noticed that? I don't think that's just coincidental that it came out like that. A bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of like them AI things. Yeah, it's, it's one of them. Now you see it, you can't unsee it. Yeah, yeah. But I did the mistake of uh, writing um, head sex and it came up with a lot of blowjob videos. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, if you want to search it, search Air to Stack Head, not Head Sex. Because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There it is. It's showing your highlighted version. It probably is a coincidence again. There's so many coincidences, yeah, but. Yeah. Uh, it was bad, that one. So cheesy back in there, wasn't it? 
Um, let's have a look. I think that is all I have got. Okie dokie. We'll call it that then. It's just a short episode. I'm short at, um, episode today. Yeah. Hot weather. Want to get back out into it. That that's, might be what it is, yeah. Um, <laughs> could have got guests as well, couldn't we? Could have done, wouldn't we? Yeah. didn't. All right. Well, right well, it's been good. It's been good. And we're right on time anyway, so... Right on time. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye.